One of the saddest dangers with places around the world that have asbestos mills and mines is that they contaminate the environment and community around them. Many studies show that anyone living within the vicinity of an active asbestos mine is at a higher risk of asbestos diseases like cancer. The white chrysotile dumped on Asbestos Point is still visible from afar and is ironically called angel wings. Ironic because asbestos is so harmful to human health and has caused or contributed to far too many premature deaths. And unfortunately, the risks of asbestos exposure are hardly a thing of the past. In fact, at the close of 2022, the National Forest Service announced a cleanup effort to remove 38 tons of asbestos-containing materials from an old asbestos mill in Tonto National Forest. The dangers of asbestos mining and milling in Arizona are nothing new. In fact, one of Arizona's asbestos mines was declared a Superfund site. A Superfund site is a place where the environmental damage is so extreme, the federal government's environmental watchdog, the EPA, says they have to clear it out until the mess is cleaned up, if it ever can be cleaned up. Four out of five of the worst Superfund sites are mines, lead mines in particular. And no wonder, mines produce a lot of material, including a lot of byproduct, and they have to put it somewhere. So they usually put it in the water or the air or wherever they can. And if what they're mining is toxic, like lead or asbestos, then all that byproduct in the air, the earth, the water, it presents a problem for anyone who comes into contact with it. So back in 1979, an old asbestos mill from Metate Asbestos Corporation was set to be torn down. The problem was that this abandoned mill was located in a mobile home subdivision. The response from the governor of Arizona at the time was to ask all 120 residents in the subdivision to evacuate during the deconstruction of the asbestos mill. One of the interesting things about this case is that it was the first to establish asbestos could be the basis of a Superfund site, which requires that an area poses a particular risk of harm to human health. One of the other companies trying to oppose that designation was Jack Hayes Mining Corporation, which mined chrysotile asbestos. Even though the asbestos industry had been aware for decades that asbestos was harming their employees and consumers, causing breathing diseases and even cancer, they continued a coordinated effort to deny, cover up, or try and discredit doctors and other health researchers showing again and again that asbestos was so harmful. And as late as the mid-1970s, the Jack Ace Mining Corporation was still arguing that its asbestos wasn't harmful, that chrysotile wasn't really dangerous to human health. Perhaps unsurprisingly, in 1980, the employees of this mine were examined in order to discover their personal exposure level to asbestos. All workers at the mine exceeded the OSHA recommendations and no official respiratory protection program, besides providing respirators, was established at the time. The mill was shut down two years later, and over 300 individuals were being tested in the neighboring town of Miami, Arizona for lung damage due to asbestos illness. But in 2020, the EPA announced it would again conduct a review of this site to ensure that the risk of exposure did not exist for current residents. And in fact, the property seems to have been given the all clear and is available for anyone interested in developing a former asbestos Superfund site. As for the town of Chrysotile, Arizona, it's now listed as a ghost town with a few mining buildings still remaining. Speaking of ghost towns, there's a popular saying about the ghost town of Bodie, Nevada. I'd rather go to hell than Bodie. Well, this book is a great read, but as far as visiting Chrysotile, I'd rather go to Bodie. Thanks for watching Asbestos Artifacts. Thank you.